Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to niebs home school i am nasima akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift dear students today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 4 students dear students our today's topic is chapter 6 and the name of this chapter is matter and we have already read some pages of this chapter in our previous class let's see today's topic from here our today's topic is chapter 6 today we will read from page number 44 to 46 and uh, today we will also do a short question number 1 to 4 and this is lecture number 16 and our today's SW number is 12th number SW and this is your science book and our chapter is here matter is uh, start from 40 number page and today we will read from 44 number page so dear students let's start today's class look at here i have written uh, this all topics from page number 44 to 46 here and from uh, the beginning of 44 number page here is the question what is here what is here we cannot see here but here is around us we may feel here when a breeze blowing across our face. We can find here when branches and leaves of trees are moving. Students, in our book, science book, next page, you will see here is an experiment. Here takes up space in a glass. Let's read this part. For this experiment, we need two glass you can see let's see this uh, experiment look at here at first uh, from these two glass uh, let uh, one glass uh, full of water and uh, another glass is full of air and then when we tilt up the second glass filled with air it allows the air to escape from the glass the air from the second glass is trapped by the first glass and the air forces the water out of the first glass. This result shows that air takes up space in the glass instead of water. Look at here, at the first time this first glass was full of water and this second glass was full of air when uh, second glass uh, tilt up toward the first glass then uh, the air from uh, the uh, second glass goes to the first glass and takes up this whole glass space uh, so by uh, this experiment uh, we have come to know that uh, air takes up space in the glass instead of water when we hit and press an inflated ball, we feel a uh, resist, uh, resistance from the ball. On the other hand, when we hit and press a deflated ball, we do not feel a uh, resistance because there is no air in the ball. From this result, we find that air can oppose against a uh, pressure. Look at this picture, here in a ball opposite a pressure. This is a inflated ball. Now, come to here. When we prick one of the balloons with a needle, the balance will tilt toward an inflated balloon. Look at here. Here is an experiment. For this experiment, we need two balloons and a balance look at here uh, and this balloons size will be same and then uh, when we prick one of the balloon with a needle if we prick one of the balloon with a needle the balance will tilt toward the toward an inflated balloon it will uh, tilt 
towards an inflated balloon because the balloon still has air inside it and it is heavier than a deflated balloon. It is heavier than a deflated balloon. We get an idea that air has weight. From this experiment we have come to know that air has weight. Students, uh, I have finished a reading of this chapter. Now I will give you short question answer of this chapter. Here is short question one number. What is matter? What are the properties of matter? Answer is the material that has weight and takes up space is called matter. Matter has different properties. Weight, volume, size and shape are properties of matters. Now question number two. Short question two. What are the uh, three properties of air? Answer is here, air is a gaseous matter. We cannot see air, but air is around us. The three properties of air are given below. Air takes up space. Air has weight. See number, air opposes against a pressure. Now students come to here. This is short question number three. And the question is here, all of matters have weight even though they are small particles. What do you mean by the weight of matter? Answer is here, weight is a measure of how strongly the earth pulls a matter to the center of the earth. All of matters have weight. We can measure weight of matters by using a balance or a scale. Now question number 4, short question 4 number is volume is a property of matter. What is meant by the volume of matter? Answer is the amount of space that matter takes up is called volume. Volume is the property of matter. The volume of a solid is measured in cubic centimeters centimeter cube and liquid in liters students i have finished my today's topic now i will give you hw our today's hw number is 12th number hw and your hw will be short question one number and two number your hw 12th number is short question 1 and 2 it will be your hw so dear students i hope you have understood today's topic keep practice it at home and do your sn hw in your sw copy so dear students stay home and we'll see you again in our next class